alumni. It's the Raiders and the Dolphins, and it comes your way next on Madden NFL 25. We are about 15 or so miles northwest of world-famous Miami Beach as we are set for football at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami Gardens. Hi, everyone. Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis. Charles, you look at the Dolphins as they enter play in this one. They've been buoyed by getting two home games right at the start, and they come off a good victory in week one. In the offense last week, they had things humming. If you're a defensive player, you may get overshadowed a little bit, but you're really buoyed by what your offense is doing. On the other side of the field for the visiting Raiders, they too were winners last time out, so something's got to give here. And I love it when both teams come in off of wins. Great mindset. Two teams here, each off to 1-0 starts as this one is underway on EA Sports. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. So here comes the Raider offense now onto the field. They'll be led out by their quarterback, standing 6-1 from Utah. It's Tyler Huntley. And he was terrific in the opener through three touchdown passes, and make no mistake about it, he was eager to get right back out and do it again. So I think we'll see him try to test the secondary quite a bit as this game goes on. Right to the air is Huntley. It's caught on the right side, Williams. Five yards on the game's first play, second down. This defense for the Dolphins, terrific last week in the season opening victory. And the way they did it was by getting after the quarterback. Sacked him seven times in that game, came from all angles, created a lot of illusions, and especially just beat them man for man. That's the kind of defense that really frustrates an opponent. They'll run it for the first time with Williams. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. The numbers on the ground for Williams a week ago. 18 carries, 69 yards, and a touchdown. There were some signs of life from their ground game last week, but overall, just a so-so performance. Everyone knows they can make a slight improvement how they contribute to this aspect of the offense. Lyman can set their blocks and hold them a little bit longer, and he can be quicker to the hole and hit a lane. If they do that, they should get some better numbers produced this week. Now a first down carry, it's Williams. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. After the loss, they'll come up second and 13. Huntley off of play action. And it's complete to Adams. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 26. A good pick up there, 26 yards. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 26-yard line. Pressure applied, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back at the 33-yard line. Of seven on the sack, and it brings up second. Here's Huntley. Going quickly there, but it's incomplete. When you look at this defense, currently number one in the NFL against the run. And that's a ranking that feels good, right? To be number one and be the top of your profession. But here's the problem. It's only week one. One week, yeah. Can they do it 15 more <laughs> times? If so, then we really got something to talk about. That's the challenge. 23 yards on the tuck and run. He's a talented runner, and that means he's always looking for bigger and bigger gains when he takes off. Certainly found some bonus yards there beyond the first down marker, and this early drive will continue with that extra jolt from his legs. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Up the middle, it's Williams. 
And nowhere to run on the interior of that defensive line. He'll get back only to the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. They run it again with Williams. And down inside the 10 here before he's out of bounds right around the 7. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains to throw Huntley. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. He opted to go with a scramble, gets two yards, and now it's fourth. I'm actually looking at this play with defensive eyes here, partner, because they were still laser-focused on about this earlier exploits on this drive. I think they went back to the well just a little bit too soon. He got across the line of scrimmage, but they certainly weren't giving up much more than that. Well, this is up and good from Pinheiro. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they set up for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. So here are the Dolphins now getting set for their initial possession. And they are let out there by their mobile quarterback. I tell you what, when he is on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there on every snap. A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm talent when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book, he's an asset to have in any offense. Max Crosby, the one who got in there for the stop. They work now on second and nine. In motion goes the tight end. Throw left side complete. That's Hill. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. And the Raiders call on a nickel set here for third down. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. And down he goes, brought down a Raider sack. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. The start of this game shaping up nicely on that visiting sideline. Yeah, how about that? You get your points on the opening drive, then you get a big sack there on third down, and you make the home crowd go, There is a hush indeed. We'll call that a 49-yard punt with a return of just two. And it'll be Raiders football first and ten. Second drive of the game coming up for this Las Vegas offense. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and ten. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. But you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. 3 nothing after one on EA Sports. The Raiders with the football here to begin quarter number two. Second down and a little more than a yard here. As they've got it as we resume action. They go play action with Huntley. They're looking for his tight end on the corner. It's complete. 18 yards on his first catch of the game. It's a first down. Second and short. That's a rundown. So it's definitely a good time to go play action if you're feeling it. And they do so and pick up a first down. Working with the lead, trying to get to 2-0. and oh. Here's first and 10. Hundley looks to throw. Open man is Myers. Yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. On first down. Hamilton knifes his way forward here, but just three yards on the play. Second down. Snap will come from the 31 on second and seven. Oh, 
They stay on the ground this time. It's Williams. And he'll get this down close to a first down at about the Dolphins' 25. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. They'll try and run for it. Here's Williams. And he will have the first down at about the 21-yard line. They're able to convert with a gain of four. Just about every coach we talk to says the crowd shouldn't affect us. That shouldn't be an issue. And then the next breath, they talk about taking the crowd and taking them out of the game by picking up first downs and keeping them at bay. I think we just saw an example of that. And it's intercepted at the goal line. And the Dolphins are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. That throw, Charles, over the middle of the field, and a few too many bodies in there got picked. That's a normal situation, too, isn't it? No matter how hard you try and spread the field sometimes, there's always going to be a traffic jam, it feels like, towards the middle. And if there's any type of a missed throw, or maybe the ball's tipped, or just too many bodies in the area, an interception can result. So Miami coming out for their second drive. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. On second down, they'll run it here. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. Four yards the pick up, first down. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. He's going to fire one deep left sideline. They're all the way in for a Miami touchdown. A big play there. His second touchdown on the season. And the Dolphins have taken the lead. Good throw there. And I don't want to blow it too out of proportion, but he looks a lot more comfortable in his second season. You can tell he put the work in in the offseason. And what I mean by that is understanding the playbook, not just the plays and how to execute them, but how to do it against a variety of defenses, also understands his team better, what they can and cannot do. You can see the confidence rising in him as he plays. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Now the Vegas offense heading back out there. But not an ideal way to end their previous drive. They threw the interception, Charles, after they had built up some momentum. They were moving the football, but something to at least build on for this offense as they run back out here. Yeah, you're right about that. Up until that last play, everything was working pretty well for this offense. Gaining chunks of yardage, getting first downs, really making a push for the end zone, and looked like they had a nice rhythm going. Now you got to have a short memory here. Don't focus on the interception. Focus on what came before it and get back to it. Out of the pistol, here's Williams. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure you're back. You spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Seven yards there and a first down. They'll run on first. And now the ball's out. Fumble near midfield. And this is picked up by the Dolphins. And they take possession two yards away from midfield at the 48-yard line. And a little careless there, Charles, on that carry. And it's not just having two hands on the ball. It's tucking it away. It's using your body to keep people shielded off. It's so many different things into taking care of it and having ball security. In that case, though, we didn't see it happen. So now the Dolphins set to take over on offense. They defeated the Patriots last week, now looking to make it two in a row here as they come up first and ten. 
They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. So the completion good for just three. And that'll make it second down. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Here's a second and seven. And that one's going to be off target and incomplete. The turnover put them in great field position. They don't want to squander it with third down coming up. No, not at all. And you know what else you do? You make your defense mad. Yeah. They got you the football, gave you a great opportunity. you got to cash in and get some points. And this is going to be incomplete. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. The kick by Elliott is good. Well, I don't know if you ever go into a game expecting to attempt a kick of 62 yards. Charles not only attempt it, but make it one of the longest kicks that we've ever seen. Yeah, I'm not sure you ever go into a game expecting to kick one of this distance, but all the better kickers, they do dream of it. And they show what they can do in practice and convince their coaches to give them a chance. That one surely paid off. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily what you look at your plays, oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. Now Huntley. That's complete into the hands of Myers. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. Here's Huntley. Throwing middle, and it's complete. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Huntley to throw. Sacked. They sack him back right at the midfield strike. Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Third down and 13. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. Yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. A big play there as they get the conversion on third and 13. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Looking to throw here, Huntley. Flushed out right. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Out of the gun, Huntley. And he's going to be taken down back around the 35-yard line. It'll go in the Bucks as a seven-yard loss on the sack. And it's third down. Right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Touchdown! Jacoby Myers, 35 yards. And the Raiders are an extra point away from tying the ball game here in the final minute of the first half. Good start to the season for him. He had the touchdown last week in the opener and a second one in week two now. How about the pace he's already established, right? Not sure he can keep it up for an entire season, but don't burst the bubble because he thinks that he can. Do guys go into a season with a goal for touchdown scored or yardage? What do you think? I think every single one of the guys who's going to touch the football, they all have those types of goals. They all have those types of thoughts. Then they just have to see how the season unfolds if they can stay with it. Unfolding so far so good for him. All level now at 10 apiece as the kick's away. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. And a good return, able to get out across the 35 to the 36. And the Dolphins with one final possession here in this first half. 
And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Max Crosby blowing up the play and getting the sack. There's a lot of discussion in the offseason about him having a big year and getting to the quarterback. They held him without a sack in week one, but how about here? Finally gets his first one of the season. In the offseason, said he changed his diet. Leaner feels so good this year. Excited to see what type of a season he can have. So we have reached halftime here at a good one. 10-10 is our score. As we go up to Orlando now and hand it over to Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. More from you and Charles in a bit. But first, time for a look around the NFL to see what's going on here in the late window. We'll start up at MetLife Stadium in New Jersey, where it was definitely a game with some intrigue, as you can see by the scoreline. Josh Allen, two touchdown passes as his guys make amends for the setback in week one. From there, let's head off and check out a second game. And they trail the visiting Eagles at halftime. A touchdown pass there for Kenny Pickett. Lastly, let's motor up to the Motor City. See what's happening with the Lions at home at Ford Field. And things didn't work out so well as they fall to the visiting New England Patriots. The Patriots bounce back from the opening week loss to even their record at one and one. We thought this one would be a close battle coming in, and we have not been disappointed. They're all even to this point. This has the feeling of a game that could go right down to the wire. One mistake or one big play could turn out to be the difference. All right, coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Dolphins getting set to go back to work here in quarter number three. Well, the first half, very even. I mean, really, in all facets, this ball game tied, Charles. So as we start the third quarter, curious to see what the second half brings us. Certainly am. I'm with you on that one. And we all know a lot of coaches from the NFL all the way down to the peewee level. They love to spend it to their teams. Hey, we're starting a brand new shorter ball game. It's all even. Let's go out and seize it. This is ours. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And he comes back with one complete. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. And that's the kind of play this offense needs to maybe kick him in the gear a little bit. They've been stuck in neutral much of the game. Perhaps that can give them a little bit of confidence that big plays are out there. They go play action here on first down. And he finds a man with a crossing route. Touchdown, Dolphins! A great effort there. His second touchdown of the game, his third on the year. And the Dolphins come right in. Opening minute of the third quarter. I know we often laugh and sometimes we even exalt the guys who are great trash talkers and give us some really funny lines. But the bottom line is absolute production on the field. His second touchdown of the game, and they lead. And now they'll be looking to their defense to preserve that lead. Elliott good on the extra point, and that makes it a 17-10 score. Scoring summary, three-play drive, and it ends with a touchdown for the Dolphins. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Las Vegas' offense back out there, ready to go. And they have had their problems moving the ball through the air as we take you through some of the action from earlier. This secondary has played about as well as you can. Many times they've left this quarterback with nowhere to go with the football. The Las Vegas offense ready to start this next drive. 
Well, Charles, you and I said in intermission, feels like we're set up for a good second half. Well, the other side scored, and now it's up to them to answer. How do they respond here with their first drive of the second half? Well, bottom line is they just saw the ball go in the end zone against their defense, and they saw what good offense looks like. They believe they've got a good offense as well. Run the best plays you've got to the top performers you have and try to move that ball down the field for an answering score. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. They lose two on that last play, so things get even tougher. Third and long coming up. Well, they went back to it, but the results were similar, so I highly doubt that he'll get another opportunity here on third and long. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. Huntley working from the gun. Now the pressure comes and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back at the 9. He couldn't get away there on third down. The pressure too much and he's set for a loss of 12. And this dominant defensive performance continued on that play. This poor quarterback has now received the protection he needs and has had to pick himself up off the turf far too often. Here's A.J. Cole now, as his first punt will come from inside his own end zone. He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. It's fielded at the 45. 44-yard punt, return of nine. And the Dolphins will begin this drive in great field position, first and ten. The Dolphins' offense and their quarterback ready to go once more. And we'll take you through some of the highlights here. You'll notice he had a hand in a lot of them so far. He's got this offense rolling right now. Now a play fake here on first down. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Call that a very strong gain of 24. And he's certainly been a huge factor in this when he's got the two touchdowns to his credit. Now they look to him again. He picks up the first. Yeah, I can hear everyone saying, well, why don't you cover him? Double him, triple him, do what you have to do. But sometimes they get locked into such a groove and such a connection, it doesn't matter how many guys are in his area. He certainly looks to be in that groove right now. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. A little eager there coming in from his outside linebacker position. You think the hard count got him there? Yes. Yeah, maybe that extra hut, so you know, that, that extra emphasis on it, got him to jump, and they picked up five yards. So after the penalty, here's second and three. Horsemen's come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. Holding offense. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. On play action, they'll throw. Touchdown lead now. Elliott now to add the extra point. And the lead is up to 14. A drive there of just four plays. And it ends with a touchdown pass to Tyreek Hill. The kicking team out for Miami as they will send this one away. Oh, a good looking return set up here. The Raiders offense and Javante Williams head out for this next drive. And he's had his fair share of troubles in this one, unfortunately. This defensive front has wreaked havoc throughout the contest, and he hasn't been able to create enough space to make something positive happen to this point. The offense for Las Vegas about set to begin the drive. 
And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, and they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Again, it's Williams. And he'll be pretty well stopped in his tracks, giving the yard up to the 42. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there holding the point of attack and not giving ground. Off the play fake, Huntley. He's going to let this go for the end zone. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Here's A.J. Cole now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. And Hill is going to have a Dolphins first down as he'll get this up past the 40. They'll drop to throw. Looking left side, and it's complete. And he is brought down, but not before reaching the 30. He got 29 yards that time. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try to put the hammer down and finish this one off. Now this offense really looking polished these first couple of weeks. Here's first and ten. They'll look to throw again. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. So here's a first and 10 now, down inside the 20. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. They'll look to throw here on first down. He's got a man, it's his fullback. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now in Miami. It's Dolphin football. It's also Dolphin lead to begin quarter number four. Back to throw again. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Touchdown! An 11-yard touchdown. And the Dolphins are on their way to a 2-0 start. Boy, he has been fun to watch throwing the football this one. It's certainly not fun for that defense, though, Charles. Now up to four touchdown passes in this ball game. Yeah, we're supposed to be neutral, but I'm feeling their pain right now because he has absolutely carved up the secondary. A clinic on how to attack a defense and take them out of the game. Elliott Good with a PAT. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. 
That time, a six-play drive. And it winds up in six points for the Dolphins. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. The Vegas offense ready for their next possession. The last series for him, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. A big hitter to start the drive, has him up near midfield here for first and 10. Back to throw, Huntley. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. Operating from the gun, Huntley. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Adams. And he's taken down inside the 30. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time, and a first down. Looking to throw, Huntley. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. The left side throw complete to Adams. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. You got the big lead defensively. Willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Oh, he rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Jalen Ramsey. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six and a Dolphins touchdown. Well, that's what you get, apparently, when you try to take on a Pro Bowl cornerback. And what a play there to make the interception and also bring it back for six. And he is so good that we've seen teams absolutely stay away from throwing the ball at him. Here, he's just reading the quarterback's eyes the entire way, makes a great play on the football, and turns it into six. Elliott on for the extra point. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Here's Las Vegas ready to take the field. And you can sort of sense their dejection. That last pick six put the icing on the cake, so to speak, in what has been a rough go for them. Throwing after the interception, Huntley. A short throw, and that's hauled in by Mayer. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Now whistles here, and I believe one of the Raider linemen might have been moving. They were looking good on second down, but now they're backed up five yards by the false start, and it's second and eight. Operating from the gun, Huntley. He finds his man, complete. It's Myers, and they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A work to do here to avoid falling to one and one, but this is first and ten right now. Operating from the gun, Huntley. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Again, he'll drop to throw. A throw left sideline falls incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. And he's going to be sacked. They sack him back right at 
at the midfield strike. They push him back eight yards that time on second down. This defense, they just continue to feast. Five sacks now as a unit. It's been quite an afternoon getting to the quarterback. And we're seeing it come from a variety of places as well. Sometimes just the guys up front getting to them. Other times you add extra guys rushing the quarterback, twists and stunts. It's been a variety, and they've had no way of blocking them. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Throwing the out route and complete. That's Bowers. Now he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. So just three yards on the completion there. And it'll be fourth down. They're going for it. Huntley. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way to the football. The Raiders try it on fourth down, but to no avail. And the Dolphins' defense is able to hold. No surprise. They try to throw the ball fourth down, but it gets batted down. They don't pick it up. A well, little football 101. When you're going toward that quarterback, you see he's going to start to throw. Get your hands up, Get right? your hands up, affect the play, and then everyone, get your hands up. When the ball gets to the receiver, moment of truth, knock it away. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. This offense has had a lot to like in this game. I don't know that that last play, though, is going to make the highlight reel. It's not going to make the highlight reel, but it will be the focus of the film session that the team has to sit through. I've sat through those before. Never any fun. You're always excited about your good plays. And they actually fast forward through those. All right, that was good. All right, great. They get to the bad ones and really illuminate them. Not cool. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. That's a gain of 11. Would have been a first down if not for that penalty moments ago. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. And they'll go with a ground attack here. Shedding the tackle. And that is going to work out just fine. The defense caught leaning the other way. The reverse works for good yardage and a first down. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They'll try and run this one right up the gut. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. I like the call there because that was one to take time off the clock and get them closer to getting out of here with a W. In the mind of the play caller, all you want to hear is tick, tick, tick. And they'll keep leaning on the running game back to the ground. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. A yard in the wrong direction makes third down tougher. Third down and nine. They have three tight ends in that formation. That's almost a universal sign that they're planning to run the football. But how about the defense there? They met force with force and caused a stack up behind the line of scrimmage and threw him for a loss. Well, this was a very close ball game at halftime, Charles, but in the second half, that offense kind of kicked things into another gear, and they were able to pull away for the victory. And yeah, Brandon, I think they're the type of team that just looked in the mirror and said, hey, ton of pressure on, but we're the type of team that can flat out handle it. They stood up, stood up with confidence, and made it happen for a victory. So for the Dolphins, they used a favorable early schedule to their advantage as they move to 2-0. And they'll get to stay home again next week. Meanwhile, for the Raiders, they'll fall to 1-1. And, and they'll try to rebound next week as they head to Glendale to take on the Cardinals. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Alongside Charles Davis, we thank our entire crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. This is the NFL on EA Sports.